Hello YouTube viewers. Once again, welcome to the Depression. This is Discovery More Channel. Thank you for your comments and thank you for your contribution to this channel. For a number of time now, we have been talking about a free energy system, how to design a free energy generator. And we have gone so far, if you go to the channel, you see a lot of videos on how to design a free energy, what you require and all the materials needed. In today's production, I'm going to discuss on how you can design a high voltage free system. What are the things you need to design a high voltage free energy generator? Because my subscribers have, have sent some questions on areas they are having problems on. Many ask on how they can have a high capacity uh, free generator and what they can do to the system and that is why I have to bring out this production so they can help you to uh, enhance that skill. Now let's take a look at this uh, system. You see this is a, a very high voltage uh, frame generator and I've discussed about frame generator in many occasions and I told you what are the things requires for a frame generator to design and I mentioned about the alternator, I talking about the uh, electric motor and also talk about the switching and the fly with the bears and all that. I'm going to discuss all these things in one of my videos. And those who have been I've received some questions on that issue, and I believe I'm still at it today. Very soon, I'm going to make a video on mainly on answering questions. Now, let's today we're talking about this thing. And if you want to design a high voltage system or a high voltage frame generator, what are the things you rest need? Now, let's look at this generator now. And as you can see, it's a very typical generator system. And it's a very high, it's a very one of the high voltage system you can say because you're going to see in the practical. And if you look at critical here, you see there are two cables here, and these cables are linked up to what we call the motor, which is the one that feeding this generator on voltage supply. It's the one that's helped to turn the generator because the generator here can, cannot generate current without the support of the electric motor. And I also discuss about the importance of the electric motor. So the electric motor is the engine room of the system all. Now, if you look at this the bed, this the bed that has, now if you look at this, a two double system bed. Uh, you know, I know somebody asked what is the two double system bed. You know, this is a double bed, this one and this two. And the two of them are working simultaneously to generate the current. Now, if you go further now, you see the flywheel. The flywheel now in this system is the is the one that we are going to talk about is the flywheel. But here is the rod, which is mounted to carry out the generator. Then it is the hook. This hook you now helps to lift up the generator to mount it. And then inside here is what we have the apertures and other things that help to crash and then to make voltage work perfectly well. So. I know you know what I'm talking about here. This generator, typical generator. So you go to the market, you can see it here to buy. It's available in most of the electrical shops to get. Now, if you go to this place now, this is what I call a switch. Now, this switch serves a two purpose uh, switch. We have the one that leads to the generator and the one that leads to the electric motor. Now, if it's linked up in, the, in between and the generator is, is on and it's moving, you you switch off you switch over to the the motor aspect which enable the voltage from the motor to flow to the uh, which may enable the uh, sorry the voltage from the generator to flow to the motor because that is what made the supply easy because in this switching now uh, the switching enable the voltage to be changed this as you can see this is the switching hand when this is returned to this point here is another the car switch over to the generator as this now is now on the motor aspect but when you take over to this point you have generator supply in the enabling voltage for the generator to flow now it is very practical and you're going to see it in as i'm we're going on then this is the flyway i talk about the flyway and i want to tell you that the flyway plays a vital role in the French generator, I know some people, somebody asks a question, can I do that flyway? I say yes, you can do that flyway if possible, but it depends on the kind of voltage you want, because there are, there are some voltage that the flyway helps to store. The, voltage, the flyway helps to store what we call kinetic energy, and it's not the voltage, but kinetic energy, increase the, it keep the, the, the motor in motion, and generator in motion, when 
in the process of switching, in the process of switching this to this, this flywheel is on the motion. Just like talking about the acetylene fan in the house. When you use off the acetylene fan, you discover that it will not just stop immediately when the acetylene fan is off. It will take some time for the acetylene fan to off. That period, we call it kinetic as the pre that period of switching. The time that it takes for it to you know, switch over from one point to another is what we call switching. And that is where we call it kinetic energy system. Now, but I'm going to uh, get a video on that, on mostly on the flyway because I just want you to have a full comprehension on uh, flyway system because it's very important. If as long as this agitator is concerned, you must have a good flyway system that can be able to run at a very good speed. But if you don't want to have flyway, no problem. There's nothing to worry about. You can still generate current as long as you have the required materials, which is the generator. And their electric motor and they have a source of your power to enable you to uh, power start and then switch over don't have any problem but but i advise that you should have this because it will help you to save your strength now let's go ahead and look at the practical form of this uh, uh, production and then you see what i'm talking about you see the half footage of this system and then you can convince more about this Let me take a look at this now. You see, this this place you see it here is the, is mounted for switching purpose. This is only mounted to enable you switch over. It's like this. Sorry, this is mounted for flyway because it's not switching over. It's mounted for power but just it's just not a new system, but just like mounting it in a book it to turn. So you don't get confused on this. You can still do this. See the speeds of the motor. This is the flyway. Where is the motor? This is the generator. Now you see the size of the motor, it's not necessarily how big the, the motor is, but the speed ratio of the motor matters a lot. So many of you look at this, uh, this is not too big as a thing, yes, but this whole of the speed, have you considered the speed? It can be as big as a house, but a run cannot generate what you expect, cannot uh, power what you expect. So you look at the speed more, more of the speed than of the, the, the size. Look at the maintenance speed of each now the, the 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 topography of the system. You see, you see that this is the mount on top is high, the bed is down. When is uh, the structure is being done? You can also choose to do it flat if you wish to, but whether whether you mount it is not matters more important is that it gives you what you want, and that is what I'm talking about now.
talking about is not a joke as you can see and the position is high and is perfect and this is a wedding this is a cutter you can see it's also turned the cutter well and the cutter is also on you can get the same in your cutter please subscribe to this channel share this video to your friends and also inform them of the history thank you